Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill at Scrap Me Quick Designs, and today I wanted to talk about uh, using the score line in Cricut Design Space and what can you do with it and where do you find it and all those great things. Um, it is uh, a great feature of Cricut Design Space to be able to add your own score lines, and did you know you can also turn that score line into a cut line? So I'm going to show you all of that. Um, I have a basic shape on my mat that I got from Cricut Craft Room Basics, which is a free image set that everybody can use. So if you want to play along with me and, and test this, uh, please do so. I've turned my grid mat on by clicking my little uh, arrow up here, I mean my little square box, so that then um, I just find it easier if I kind of line my image up onto at least the top line, line it up onto the grid mat just so that it's easier for me to make sure my image is in a place where when I add the score line it's a little bit easier for me. Um, so that's just a tip. Um, to find the score line you're going to go into insert images and in you're going to use all images and then you'll type in score line and then you'll hit the search button and when you do that it comes up with the score line as the very first thing. So I'm going to add the score line to my insert images tray and you'll see it down here. That's how you know what images you're adding to your mat, by the way. So right now I know I just have the one and then I'm going to do insert images and it's added the score line right here for me. All right. And there's a few things about the score line that I want to point out to you. Um, first of all, you to move it around, you can grab it and move it and drag it around. All right. If you are having trouble doing that, you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So you can use the up arrow and it moves it. You can move the down, use the down arrow. You can move it to the right. You can move it to the left. So if you're ever having trouble grabbing that score line to move it around, which sometimes it can be a little bit difficult, um, you can just use your arrow keys to move it where you want. All right, so that's uh, that's my first tip. Uh, the second tip is these gray little bar lines with the little dots on it. Those are like leveling um, mechanisms for you to use, and that allows me to um, make sure that I have lined the top of my score tool up exactly where I want that line to start, and I just kind of center it. If you'll see here. I've centered the line right here on the top of my project line. All right. So those little bars help you center your project onto um, your image so that you know that it's going to line up appropriately and just score where exactly you want it to score. Um, the other thing that's up here is the when you when you hover over it, it turns green. That little ball that's on the top here and that is your rotate. So if I wanted to make a line that is across my page instead of perpendicular because it come it comes in that direction uh, into design space, I can rotate it over here in my edit panel and tell it exactly what degree I want it to be at. If I want to get that specific with it, okay, um, or I can just grab the little handle and move it the direction that I want it to be in, okay, so that's how you can rotate your, um, your score line, so if you're trying to do something across, this way across your page or something and not just perpendicular or horizontal, um, you would, um, be able to do that by using the rotate feature. All right. The other thing about the score line is the score line now has a little black ball on the end. That is how you stretch your score line. Okay. And so I'm going to now just kind of level it here, and you'll see I've done it so that it those little gray lines are lined up with the bottom of my project. And let me move my layers panel over here so you can see it a little bit easier what I'm going to be doing next. Okay, so I have my score line on my project where I want it, and then I'm going to do select all. And that's in the top menu tray up here, select all. 
now it has selected it and added it to my layer my base layer and the next step I need to do to make sure it's going to stay where I want it you have to click attach in your layers panel okay so once it attaches once it attaches the score line now if you move your project around your score line is now attached to your project all right if you skip this step and you do not attach your project your, your score line when you go to send it to the mat it will actually put your image on one mat and your score line on another mat so if you've been having that happen that's the step that you're missing is to make sure that you attach your score line let's say you didn't quite line up your score line where you wanted it so click on your score line and you can hit detach in the layers panel and it will now take that the score line uh, away from being attached on your project and you can move it around where you would rather have it okay so you just do attach and detach and that adds it and takes it away so I'm going to I moved it around again now I'm going to do select all and now I'm going to attach it okay pretty simple really cool thing to do the other thing I wanted to show you was that um, you can also duplicate your line so I'm going to detach this okay so now I just have my score line okay let's say I want to um, make a cut line using my score line which is pretty cool so or you want more than one score line on your project which some of the shapes you might want to do that with down in your layers panel down here you'll see your a duplicate so I have this the score line is highlighted and now I can hit duplicate and it's going to create another score line for me okay so I'm going to use this score line but I'm going to make this one as if I was going to cut this line as opposed to score it alright so I'm just going to make this a little bit shorter okay and I need to do select all oh this score line needs to go instead of it being score I need to change it to cut okay so now instead of it being a scoring line where you're going to need to use your score tool it is actually going to cut a slice in this project all right so or I can go back in here if I made a mistake and I said oh no no I really want to score it just change it back to score line okay and now it's a score line so see how simple that was so I would just go into where I added the line and I would change it to a cut line very easy now I haven't attached this so if I move this project around I'm going to lose where I line that score line up so you need to go into select all and you'll hit attach again okay so now my score line is attached to my project and my cut line is now attached to my project so that's the basics of kind of using your score line and so you can use it to um, create a score mark that you use your score tool on so now when I send this to my Cricut mat what it's going to do is it will actually prompt me to insert my score tool so that it knows to score the line on my project and it would also cut out the shape and it would add a cut line for this particular project that I added so hopefully you found that helpful and um, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel I'm continuing to add more uh, um, videos to show you how to use the features of Cricut Design Space and uh, please join us over at Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group where we are having a lot of fun learning and playing with our Cricut Explore machine. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.